Hello and welcome to this edition of Factor Fiction, the show that sheds light on the hottest IT solution trends and separates the reality from the hype. In this episode, we're going to tackle the topic of next generation architecture and specifically dynamic provisioning. Factor Fiction, over the next five years, dynamic provisioning will enable IT to deliver any app to an organization in seconds, not days. Fact. From a technical standpoint, we can do all those things. Between hyperconvergence, software-defined networking, software-defined everything, modern hypervisors, the speed and scale of modern networks, you can design and build a data center that will allow you to deploy applications, container groups, fully deployed servers in a matter of seconds by using provisioning from an automated runbook, from a script, from an on-prem catalog, from a cloud catalog, whatever that might be. So the ability is there. It's just a matter of that modern data centers and networks and administrators need to embrace those and deploy them if they wish. Fiction. Well, I think there's certain applications that are ready to be virtualized today. I also think there's applications that aren't ready to be virtualized. They may never be virtualized. So by true technical standpoint, in order to be dynamically provisioned, you probably have to be virtualized to begin with. So that's the technology aspect. And then there's the people and process aspect. So just because I have the ability to provision an application in seconds, doesn't mean that my change advisory board operates at the same rate. There's still an approval process and an authorization process that will exist within these organizations. It will continue to create some latency in application provisioning. So stay ahead of what's ahead. Learn more from our IT experts or chat with them directly about this and other tech trends. Just complete the forms on YouTube or follow us on Facebook or LinkedIn.